We're primarily an agricultural community. If you don't bring in some form of business, the expense of operating the town falls on all of the people who are just residents here. If we have natural gas, it's going to allow businesses here to grow. And if they grow, that means more people will be able to come here to live because there will be jobs here. The way it is now, Afton is basically a bedroom community. I don't think it's our vision that Afton is a bedroom community populated by retirees that bring their money from a more prosperous environment here. Over the past few years, when we do our budget, we've managed to lower our taxes a small amount. It's not a lot of that we've lowered a lot, but we have managed to lower it over the last few years. But we're getting to the point now with the increase in the retirement, in the increased cost of health insurance, and so forth, where we're not going to be able to do that. If we can just stay even, we'll be lucky. But if we do have more tax income, it will help the people by not raising their taxes because we will have that money coming in. The Constitution Pipeline would provide an increase, sort of a business, increase in taxes. That would be a huge advantage for the town. The taxes that would be gained, that would not be paid by the landowners, it's paid by Constitution. That would be a huge advantage. That would be the first business that we could say came into our town. It would still provide a tax base that would take that tax responsibility, that tax paying responsibility off of the backs of the residents.